Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. So in this video, we're going to do a concrete floor restoration. Now I was hired to come in here, Big Daddy's Bar and Grill here in Old Orchard Beach, Maine, and give them a brand new floor. Now this place is right on one of the big touristy places. They specialize in lobster rolls, as you can see, and it's right on the beach down here in Old Orchard Beach, Maine. So the floor was in pretty rough shape. It was a couple different, they had a couple different types of flooring in here. We had to come in and remove all the tile, uh, remove any of the bad concrete, and and fix this floor up so he would have a unique type of floor. Now, you're gonna you're gonna uh, see what this looks like at the end, and you're not gonna believe the difference it makes. After we got the tile down, we had to grind off the mastic, repair all the concrete. Some of the flooring in there was still okay. It was some of it was concrete, some of it was tile. This is what it looked like after we got it all ground. And now we got to put down a floor leveler because the floor was really out of level. So we had, you know, 20, 25 bags of floor leveler we had to put in here just to get it to where we could start to do the type of flooring we're going to do. Now, if you've never done a floor leveler, they're not too bad. They're pretty easy to do. Basically, most of them just mix with water and then they... They somewhat self-level. You got to help them out a little bit with a squeegee or whatever, but they go down pretty easy. We do quite a bit of this stuff. You know, if you want to learn how to do all this stuff that we're doing, just check out my link for the Concrete Underground below in the description. Inside that private training area, I got trainings that teach you how to do all this type of stuff. We're mixing two bags at a time. I mean, you can just mix one bag if you want, but... This stuff, we had some areas we had to build up that were about a half to five-eighths of an inch thick. So it just made the process go a little quicker if we did two bags at a time. You can see it's somewhat self-leveling, but you do have to help it out a little bit. And we just start on one end, we move our way back to the other. This took us, you know, to get the tiles up, to get the floor ground, to get the self-leveler down like this, took us about a day to do this for three of us in here we had to go over about two-thirds of the floor of the total area inside the restaurant but this stuff works really really good then it dries it dries overnight so you can come right back and start working again the next day on it the trick is just to make sure you have enough of it so you don't run out so Darren and Luke are out there mixing while I'm in here leveling and then the next thing we had to do, the next day we had to come back and we had to put a primer on the floor because the concrete was really porous. And the, the self-leveler itself is pretty porous too. So b before you can do any other type of flooring over it, you know, you want to put a primer on. And this is also a moisture blocking epoxy. It's basically a water-based epoxy that blocks moisture. Now before we put the new floor on, which you're going to see what it is here shortly, we had to get that floor all primed and sealed and and block anything just in case there's moisture that comes up through. We didn't want the new floor to fail. So this stuff goes on pretty easily. It's basically like like painting on a a thin coating of of water-based epoxy is basically what it is. And it'll soak right down into the pores. It'll leave a film on the surface also but it soaks right down in there really good and blocks everything from coming up through. It goes on white, but it dries clear when you're done. You can see we did that over the whole floor. You can see how that self-leveler made that floor look really nice after we were done. I mean, you basically almost could have just sealed that and had a pretty nice looking floor. But we're going to make this look really unique. So what we're doing is we're putting down a metallic epoxy, and this is actually on a on a different job but it's the it was the exact same colors and the same process I just didn't have the video of it on that job on the day we were there but luckily I had one of a different job that was the same color so it's two different colors we're putting down here kinda of like a, a orange gold and a what we call coffee reflector metallic epoxy and we do a ton of this stuff these trainings are also down there in the concrete underground, guys. So basically, we just we just dump it all on all over the place, and then we kind of swirl it around like this.
to get a unique look. There's none of these floors look exactly alike. It's impossible to to make two that look alike because this stuff keeps moving even after you put it down. So this is what the the floor looked like in the in the restaurant when we were done. You can see what a difference it makes. It, this thing came out beautiful. It was nothing like it on the on the strip there at the beach. Nothing else like it at all in any of the restaurants or bars or anything like that. The homeowner was really happy with how this came out, you know, and then they put their tables and chairs back on it, and it was uh, like a brand new looking restaurant almost. And if you can remember what it looked like at the beginning of the video, this was the floor when we started, so it was just an old beat up floor that just looked like crap, and they couldn't keep it clean, and then this is what it looked like when we got done. So hey guys, if you like this kind of stuff, you know, please hit the subscribe button. I come out with a couple videos a week. Uh, if you want to learn about this stuff, go down and check out the Concrete Underground. We'll see you on the next one.